Hello guys, this is the Field Gamers channel, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make an infinite amount of obsidian. Now the reason I'm going to do this tutorial is because I had a problem not too long ago getting a bunch of obsidian, and the thing is, is when you're building or when you're making obsidian, every source of lava that you have, so you take a bucket, you put a, a source of lava down in, in a certain area, that area is the only area that can get turned into obsidian when water touches it. The other area that the lava flows to will just turn into cobblestone. So the problem is that to make a lot of obsidian, you also need a lot, a lot of lava. So usually when you, you're caving, if you find an area of lava and you pour water on it, all of it will turn into obsidian and you get a jackpot of obsidian. But you don't always have this source of lava. So this design will allow you to only need one bucket of lava and you'll be perfectly fine. So that's this basically this tutorial will save you time and you won't have to go through so many caves. You can just build this contraption in your area somewhere and you'll be able to have obsidian whenever you want. So this is the contraption. I'll show you how to build it over here. I kind of broke it down a little bit over here. Um, but I can go ahead and quickly show you how it works. We're going to put water in these top slots right here. And then once we do that, we're going to take the lava, or actually no, one more part, sorry. We're going to take the redstone, we're going to put them here. Now, the redstone trick, um, I'm not really sure why it does it, but I did a little bit of search, researching and stuff online, and for some reason this redstone works. So basically what happens, the water flows down, and it flows into this little crevice here. So it's flowing water right there. Now, I'm going to pour this lava on either one of these sl slots right here, and the lava is going to pour on top of the redstone. And for some reason, when this happens, the redstone will turn into obsidian and the lava will never go away because the lava source will be up here untouched. And for some reason, that works. So let me go ahead and show you an example. I'll go ahead and put this lava here. Um, and then the lava will go over and boom, there you go. And it'll go both ways and it'll turn it all into obsidian. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this lava real quick uh, by covering it up. But yeah, so that's basically the idea. Now I'm in creative mode right now, so obviously this, you know, I can easily get rid of all this obsidian. But if you're in survival mode, this will be really helpful. So that's basically how you do it. Now let's go ahead and show you guys how to make it. So over here we have a 12 block long by 5 block depth. So 12 by 5, go ahead and create an area of, it doesn't have to be sandstone, but for this tutorial I'm using sandstone. So you, whatever material you're using, we're just going to refer it to it as sandstone in this tutorial. Take the sandstone and build 12 blocks that way and 12 blocks back and make it all one block off the ground. And fill it in except for these two slots right here. So this is the back corner right here. This is the back corner of your little foundation. And from this back corner, make a 2 by 4 area like this on both sides so do that over here as well and once you've done that you can go ahead and pause the video while you're doing that once you've done that come back and build these last area of walls so the whole back wall will be five or no sorry four blocks tall and then this little extra extension right here will also be four blocks tall so once you've done that you'll have something that looks like this so go ahead and again pause the screen do whatever you got to do um, so that you can build it real quick and then come back uh, once you've done that we can go ahead and build the top layer and we're going to go ahead and put this in like this so it's just like a little frame this is what holds the water uh, that flows and make sure that you have a slit right here that's four four blocks and a slit over here that's four blocks and it'll match this tiny little hole down here that we created along with the base once you have that you'll have this um, that made a lot of sense once you have that you'll have this <laughs> well, but once you've done that you will have what you see in front of me um, and it's pretty close to being done already. But all we have to do right now is, I think, yes, we need to create an area for the water to flow into. So we're going to go ahead and create this area for the water to flow into. And you don't have to do this. You can leave it all this dirt. But I'm going to go ahead and make everything look flush and nice. You know, just nice and neat. Because um, the reason I use sandstone is because I like the way it looks. So if I keep this dirt in, in here, then it kind of takes away from the whole point of me using sandstone to begin with otherwise I might as well just be using cobblestone if I don't care how it looks um, but so I, if you do that I think it looks good and then once you've done that I think you build one more yes so we're gonna go ahead and get sorry I told you to build a 2 by 4 it should actually have been a 3 by 4 area so get rid of this last layer right here and you'll have this little object once you've done that and I'll go ahead and give you a second to look at it real quick so here's what it looks like 
um, make sure that it looks like that on your worlds while you're building it. But once you have this, get a any. It doesn't have to be a stone half slab. It can be sand half slab. It can be any kind of half slab as long as it's not wood, so it doesn't burn. And we're going to use that to kind of put a border on this entire thing. Now. There's easier ways to build this, so once you've seen this tutorial, you can probably find a way to build this uh, much easier, but I'm just building it this way so that it looks good. Um, at the same time, it also serves a purpose. So you could cut this in half and only have this part. You don't have to have both of these sections, um, because like I explained back there, when I could just have half of this, have a half slab right there, pour the lava here and let it pour this way. You know, I don't have to have this second extension, but I just thought it looked good and you'll get a little bit more done. You can even extend it and make it uh, huge if you wanted to, but this is just what I have for now. And this is the way I'm going to build it. And you can build it like this if you want exactly the way I'm showing you. And that's pretty much the whole point of this tutorial. So once you've done that, go ahead and take your redstone uh, that you hopefully have acquired already and put it on these little slots uh, right here within this slit area. So you'll have four things of redstone this way and four that way. Once you've done this, it should be fully completed. Uh, yes, it is fully completed. And then if you want, what I did is I just, I mean, there's, this is kind of just my own preference. I just built a little place where you can walk up and stand. And let's go ahead and put stairs right here, wherever I can see that. Where's the stairs at? There we go. And then you can put the stairs right here and have a little thing where you can walk up to it and have your lava ready and have it, you know, have at it. But let's go ahead and finish this up real quick. We'll put the lot, or we put the water, not the lava, uh, up here. And I'm in creative mode, so I have unlimited amounts of water, if you're wondering why. <laughs> and then once you have this, the water flows into there, and you can do what I did over there and just pour the lava on top. You can even pour it both places, and it'll pour over the redstone and make your obsidian, and voila, it is finished. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, it's definitely effective for me. I just learned how to do this because um, I play on the Chaoscraft server. If you watch my channel, you know that already. And on the Chaoscraft server, if I want Obsidian, I have to make it myself. So I will probably be making one of these on the Chaoscraft server soon so that I can do this um, without having to find huge sources of lava just to you know, create Obsidian. And then I can you know, have a huge inventory of Obsidian and hopefully I can even share it with everybody else if I get enough of it. So that is pretty much all there is for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys use this in your own worlds. I really do. I hope you guys use it. Uh, link or comment, subscribe, or like the, the video. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys later. Bye.